Hello everybody, Nick over here at Scog and Dickie. We appreciate you stopping by for another one of our Friday weekly tech videos. We hope you really appreciated our, our feature footage that we got while we were in SEMA. We sure had a lot of fun, but now we're back. It's time to get back to some of these tech videos. This week's gonna be kind of a quick one. We're talking about drive shafts, specifically when you buy a connecting cruise. If you've ever been to our showroom, this is our 68 to 72 GM A body chassis. It has all sorts of trick pieces from front to rear. We got Ride Tech air suspension. We got Rick's Tanks fuel system in the back. And of course, we do have an LS3525 and a 4L75E transmission. Now, one of the most common questions we get when it comes to talking about these kind of connect and cruise packages is the yoke and the drive shaft. Everybody calls and asks about this. Now, eventually GM does have to stop somewhere. They can't keep going until the axle. And then before you know it, they're selling you a whole new 69 Chevelle, even though I really wish they still would. So, a lot of y'all ask, what do I do once I get this uh, engine and transmission mounted in my car? Where do I go for something like this? I will tell you that actually what you need to do is usually contact a local driveline shop that can custom make you a drive shaft. If you don't have one of those near you or one that you prefer not to use, there's also some really great companies out there. For instance, QA1 just recently came out with custom carbon fiber and aluminum and steel drive shafts. They will make to any length. The good news is, even though the drive shafts can vary in length depending on what you put it in, what mounts you used, what axle you're using, well, they simply just want a couple measurements from you and they go from there. They make you a pre-assembled drive shaft from yoke to U-joints, balanced and ready to go. So if you have any further questions about something like this, feel free to give us a call. We'll try our best to point you in the right direction and we'll see you next Friday for another tech video.